Hello and welcome to the MSAG Online UK CAT course. In this video we will look at the importance of conditionals, a tricky facet of set A, set B or neither questions. A conditional is a property that depends upon another property. For example, if the biggest shape in a box is white, there will be a black triangle in the top right corner. If the biggest shape is black, there will be a white triangle in the bottom left corner. As you can tell, these are harder to spot as the eyes don't naturally notice conditional properties. But, as with any skill, the more you practice finding conditionals, the quicker you will be. Our objectives over the next few minutes are to help you feel more confident in understanding a conditional property and to improve your speed in finding a conditional property. Let's start with an example. Pause the video if you wish to attempt this question, giving yourself no more than 35 seconds to spot the pattern and assign the given box. The correct answer was that the test shape belonged in set A. But what was the pattern? We had a conditional pattern for these sets. For set A, if there was a black triangle at the top of the box, then there would be one white triangle in the box. If there was a black rectangle at the top of the box, then there would be two white triangles in the box. For set B, if there was a black triangle at the top of the box, then there would be two white triangles in the box. If there was a black rectangle at the top of the box, then there would be one white triangle in the box. Did you think there was a relation with the arrows? Oh, I'm sorry. The arrows were a distraction, a technique often used by those who set the UK cat questions. Remember to think about the simplest box within the set to try and see if your theory holds true. The box in the bottom left of set A had no arrow in it. Therefore, a pattern related to the arrow was unlikely to exist. You might have found this question hard. Conditional properties are typically the hardest to spot, so don't beat yourself up too much. This next pattern might be even harder to spot, but keep trying. As we always say, practice will make your performance in the test better. Again, give yourself no more than 35 seconds to spot the pattern and assign the given box. The correct answer was that the test shape belonged in set A. But what was the pattern? As you might have guessed, this was another conditional pattern. But it was a conditional pattern with an unusual twist. Symmetry. We have not covered the property of symmetry so far on this course, because it rarely comes up, but we do want it to be a property that rings a bell if it comes up in the test. In set A, if the arrow is pointed upwards, then there is a vertical line of symmetry in the box. If the arrow is pointed downwards, then there are no lines of symmetry in the box. In set B, if the arrow is pointed upwards, then there are no lines of symmetry in the box. If the arrow is pointed downwards, then there is a vertical line of symmetry in the box. Wow, that was tricky. A conditional property that was also an unusual property. But even these tougher patterns can be spotted with enough practice and a bit of luck. 
While difficult, we hope these examples have demonstrated that certain properties can be conditional on others in the abstract reasoning subtest. This conditionality is harder to spot with the naked eye than normal properties, but the trained eye does have a much better chance than the untrained one. The only way to get better at spotting conditional properties is through repeated practice and, of course, having the awareness that we hope this video has provided. Keep trying and good luck!